so do you think Danny G will ever be released from that IPP sentence because he's been in for an awful long time now, hasn't he? Uh, to be honest with you, I don't know. I, I'm not sure, and I, I've not been sort of up to date on the criminal justice side of things, but I thought they were going through the courts to scrap them altogether. Yeah, but I heard that also, but I also heard that those that were currently on IPP sentences were not being scrapped. They were, because they'd been sentenced prior. Yeah, but I think they were then given a target date. I think the prisons that had them, so you'd you'd a tariff. Yeah, you'd have a tariff like as if you're a live sentence prisoner. So if you even as an IPP prisoner, you could have a three. Oh God, I knew this one guy, very short in stature, shall we say? And I felt, and he had a very tragic. Uh, no, I think he's from Ireland. Okay. No. But when I say short in stature, I mean very short. <laughs> and he had, and it's very sad because he'd been abused by Catholic priests. And he had a vendetta against Catholic Church. And he'd gone round and set some nuisance fires. So he was he was a repeat arsonist. No one had ever got hurt. No, Yes, there'd been damage to the buildings, but he never went in the daytime. He, there was no, he was not. Endangering life. Yeah, he didn't want to yeah. hurt someone. So he got an IPP. Sentence. Arsonist. Three years. Yeah. Three years. That was the minimum he had to serve. So it's the prison's duty to make sure we have done everything we need to do rehabilitation wise. So when he's at that three point at three year point, he might not get out. He might have to do another twelve months before next parole, but there's an end uh, there's an end in light. Yeah. So my understanding, and if I'm wrong in any way, please people tell me, is that the ones that are Still IPP, they, there was a massive push around 2016, 2017 to put the resources into the prisons or move the prisons. So there was a massive movement of IPP prisoners to go to the jails where they needed to go to get out. Now, unfortunately, some with it's like Charles Bronson. He's a, probably a threat to no one now. No. Do you know what I mean? No. He's an old man. Well, he's been given life, hasn't he? For, yeah. And he's never actually killed anyone. Yeah. That's be it's never been documented. It's never yeah. it's never like you said, raped or or any he's yeah, yeah. kidnapped a few Yeah. You know, and he's taken eternal. people hostage and you know, that he's not been very nice, but you know, what you've got to think of what threat they pose now to society. But unfortunately, the prison service, the probation service, the parole service, everyone and to some extent it is true that your past behaviour very, very much predicts your future behaviour. Yeah. But you get to a point where you think, you got these people have got to be let out at some point, but everyone's shit themselves because no one wants to put their name. Yeah. No one will put their name on that piece of paper to say Danny G can get out. No one will put their name on that paper to say Charles Bronson will get out. That's it. Why do you think that is? Because he's, I know a friend of mine, Paul Arden, he, he got an eight-year tariff. Mm -hmm. On his IPP, and he got out on the eighth. Right. Well, this this guy, the the, the sorry, that I didn't finish that story. The the little guy, he was ten years, ten years. over tariff. Wow. Because there is nothing for arsonists. There is nothing for, and and he was quite anti-social. He was quite unpleasant to deal yeah. with. But he'd been horrifically abused. Surely we should be giving him some trauma counselling, some, you know, doing some good, not just locking. And yeah, his behaviour was really challenging. Ten years. He'd not even made it to a cat sea. No. And every time we got him, we did get him to a cat sea. Within a week, they sent him back because he was too challenging. But these people are traumatised. That's what we should be focusing on. That's what will help people rehabilitate. So you're either a lucky, not a lucky person, but you've either got the, the wherewithal or the resilience to do it like you did yourself. It comes from something within yeah. to find that help, to access it, to change yourself, or it you're just left languishing.